Hi guys, good morning. It is about 10 o'clock on Thursday. The kids are in school and I am doing some work. I've got a webinar to run um, here in about 30 minutes. I've got a couple other meetings to do today. So today's kind of a push day, lots of work, um, that kind of thing. And then I will be picking the kids up after school, doing a little shopping, that kind of thing. So I wanted you guys to follow along with me today. But today in particular, I wanted to show you a little bit into my, how I manage my blood sugar and what I'm doing for it right now and kind of what it looks like for me. So if you are, uh, if you followed along with us for a while, we were vegan for quite a long time and I started having some issues with my blood sugar towards the end. So I went to the doctor, talked about some things, and of course I know that the doctor was going to say, drop the vegan part, I was eating too many carbs. So I took his advice for at least a short period of time, and I am currently eating animal products, but I really want to switch back to uh, whole foods, plant-based, if at all possible, because I'm sick of meat. I don't want to eat it anymore. I don't eat dairy. So I'm trying to transition myself now into figuring out how many carbs I can have so that I can include some more starchy things and, and some more protein options like beans and those type of things, which tend to be higher in carbs. Not huge, crazy carbs, um, but again, I'm just trying to find the right medium for me in the middle. So I've been doing keto for three months now, and I have not really lost any significant weight, but that wasn't really the goal so much as getting my sugars under control. And I will kind of show you what that looks like throughout the day. I'll test my blood sugar. I've been doing it three times a day. I'll talk about a little bit about the medication that I'm using, stuff like that. So. probably start off by saying that I took my blood sugar at 7 this morning when I woke up and it was 103 which is actually really good for me um, when I first started I was at 120 130 which is not good and I'm not happy with that so I've been able to get myself down to around the 100s, um, which is good. I still haven't been able to break 100 with my fasting blood sugar, but I'm usually lately in the 100 to 110 range, which is pretty good. And um, I totally space. <laughs> I remember. Okay, so um. So one of the things was, uh, I'm around 100, 110. I have noticed though, that when I do not get enough sleep, my blood sugar is high in the morning. So I'm sure there's some correlation, but stress or whatever, it's not good. I have this thing and it doesn't, I don't really care about the step part of it as much as I like to pay attention to how I'm sleeping. And it does this really cool report where it will tell you how much REM sleep you've had. And, and so I can almost look at that and then I can almost tell you what my blood sugar is going to be before I take it. So that's kind of a cool thing that I've been able to kind of make that correlation. So, um, moral of the story, go to bed. Don't stay up all night. Uh, I know that I have things on YouTube and things on the internet that I want to watch, but I need to go to sleep. It definitely, definitely helps uh, when you're trying to make sure that your health is on, is on a good trajectory. Yeah, so uh, blood sugar this morning, 103, 103 I think. <laughs> and yeah, so that's a good start. It is about 10 o'clock. I have had, I have a coffee with some monk fruit and a tablespoon of cream in it, so nothing crazy. Um, I'm going to be switching to almond milk next week 
and doing it that way. So I just have not been able to go to the store to start doing the switch out yet, but that is in the works. So not a kind of fasting, but not really. Like, so sort of intermediate fasting till about 11. And then I have my breakfast that I have in the refrigerator. So, that's going to start. so again, I'm not plant-based right now, but I'm trying to incorporate more vegetables, more starchy things into my diet so that I can start eating less of the stuff that I don't want to have in my diet. So it is a process for sure. I've done 20 grams of carbs or less for the past three months. And then this week I've worked myself up to 30 to 40 carbs a day. Uh, again, I don't want to shock my system. So I'm trying to do this systematically while checking my blood sugar after every meal to make sure that it's all good. So. Hey y'all, this is definitely the minimalist. Um, so these are our kitchen towels. And we've been going through so many because spills and just kids and things like that. So I got this pack on Amazon and it was like 50 of them for 15 bucks or something. And then the rest of them are cut up towels that we've had and that kind of thing. So I've got an overabundance of towels for sure. But I get really tired of, I, I don't buy paper towels and stuff, so this is what we do for that. But there we go. And we just did laundry, so that's why there's so many of them. Usually there's not so many. Okay, so um, it's about 10.30 now. Oh, I'm trying something new. Does it look weird? I don't know. Um, it is vegan. This one is plant-based and it is called note meal, note meal. I don't know. And so basically the concept is you have three tablespoons of almond flour, three tablespoons of, no, I think three tablespoons of hemp seeds, um, or hemp hearts. You've got, I've got two tablespoons of flax meal because I don't like chia seeds. I think they're gross and the texture makes me think of bodily fluid we're not going to talk about. So don't like those. So I've got that and then a half a cup of almond milk and a little bit of uh, monk fruit. And then I'm going to add some vanilla to it after. But if you can tell, it's going to slip. So I'm going to put it in the microwave and I'll let you know how it goes. Okay, so this is what it looks like after you heat it up. So it's definitely thick, like oatmeal. So that was good. Do I like it? <laughs> I don't know. So, if I had some um, monk fruit maple syrup, which I do normally have, but throw it at all. If I had more of that, I think it would taste more maple kind of oatmeal. The taste... Okay, if I were to close my eyes. The taste is fine. The texture is weird, obviously. Uh, because the flaxseed does make it kind of like that snot-like consistency. Not as much as chia seeds. And for anybody that was uh, trying to figure out what bodily fluid I was talking about with chia, it was not snot. But this is a family channel, so I'm not going to talk about what chia seeds actually make me think of. Yuck. Anyways. 
So the texture is weird, for sure. It's a little too gummy. So it's like really, really well done oatmeal. Very, very nutty. I'll eat it. It's got a lot of fiber in it, obviously. Now I hate it. I might heat it up a little bit more so it's not cold snot, at least it's hot snot. Okay, so I've muddled through some of it. I don't know if I'd do this again. I don't know. I might have to make a better flavor. I don't know. 100% that for some time, a key person is going to leave at the absolute worst time. If he's got no strategic depth, it's going to throw and spin everything into decay. So we can say we want to operate from a value economy model. Okay, guys, so I'm done with that webinar. I'm about to go into another meeting in about 30 minutes. I'm going to make myself some lunch. So I'm doing this, about half of the can. It's got lentils, tomatoes, kidney beans, and spices. It is vegetarian, it is not vegan. Um, and it's got about 13 grams of carbs in it. So again, trying to kind of up my carb bit a bit. But I'm gonna have this, I'm just gonna nuke it and call it lunch. This is also the time of day that I take my first supplements medicine. So I've got this. This is metformin. I take it twice a day. And so this is 850 milligrams. So I'll take one of these now. And then I also take one of these because metformin will kind of mess with your B vitamins. So I take one of these as well. So I'm going to take those, eat lunch, and then I'll be back in an hour to tell you what my blood sugar was. All right, so here's my lunch. It's kind of tastes like chili, sort of, actually. And I'm also going to spend my lunch break um, working on my vision board in Trello. So I'm doing that as well. Hey, guys. Okay, so. Now we have. Okay, so it is now 1.30, so it's been an hour since I've last eaten. Now normally, well you can test anywhere from an hour to two hours. So, um, some people do two hours. I think I did two hours when I was pregnant. But I like to do an hour because that'll kind of give me a good idea of where I'm at. Now, generally, when I was doing keto, it, these sugars ran about 80 to 90 um, after lunch. And so this one, of course, I did have more carbs. So today it was, what, 20-something, 15, 20. So I'm curious to see where we're at. One twenty. Not um, that's fine. Not a huge thing, but it is higher than normal. So I really have to be careful about carbs and what I'm doing with it. But one twenty, I'm fine with. And now I will put it in my phone. I have a little app, and I'll put it in my phone. And I'll test again after dinner. Okay. So my theory so far is that the lentils and beans were pretty good for me. Um, 120 I'm comfortable with. Yesterday I was at 138. Starting to creep up there. And I had this, one serving of this. Which is lentil flour, chickpea flour, pea fiber, rice flour, and a couple other things. So I think that it was the rice that did me in. What I will need to do 
I don't really want to, is at some point I'm going to need to have some rice and see what that does to my blood sugar, but I'm pretty sure it's going to spike it. But, um, so, so far, small amount of lentils is good. So I have been, you know, um, meat-free, at least, for breakfast and lunch, and we've been okay. So, there's that. Making progress, guys. You ready to go to the kennel? Come on, kennel. Come on, kennel. Come on. Where are you going? Come on. Upstairs. Up, 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 up. He's waiting for me. He won't go without me. <laughs> Come on. <gasps> Is it time for cheese? It's now 2.30. I'm about to leave to pick up the kids from school. So I filled up my water bottle with ice water. And I need to change out my bamboo charcoal sticks, which I will show you in another video. But it's been about a month, and so I need to switch them out. And I'll show you what that is, but it's really cool. So let me know in the comments below if you've ever heard of using bamboo charcoal to filter water. And if you've ever tried it, but I, I'm super, super into it right now. And I'll tell you about it in another video. I also got a stasher full of pistachios that I will probably just eat while I'm waiting in line because I sit there and sit in the pickup line for about 30 minutes. So I will eat those. And then I thought I would... Check my blood sugar again. I don't normally do it a second time after a meal. This is not the norm. But, for the sake of science, no, I don't know. Uh, again, trying to figure out this uh, carb thing and how many that I can take and what it all entails. I figure I would take it again to see where we are now. So remember we were at one... 20 an hour ago. So let's see what it looks like at the two hour mark. I don't actually know. I don't usually do it two hours after. So I, don't know. Let's see. I got this one on Amazon for like 20 bucks. So, you know, it's called Care Touch, I think. Do you like my? You know, uh, I've been also addicted to color street nails. If anybody's tried them, let me know in the comments what you think of them. I think ice just fell out of the ice maker. Okay, that's perfectly respectable. Mm -hmm. I am not mad at that at all, actually. I just got a text message from Raul to pick him up from work, which is way too early. Um, yeah, but anyways, that's not bad at all. Um, I'm actually really happy with that. So I think the next phase of the experiment would be to try more lentils and beans and see where I am at the two-hour mark. But I'm, I'm not mad at that. So I'm going to get in the car and I'll see you guys in a bit. Bye. So this is the book. That I just helped launch not too long ago. If anybody is interested in business books, you should totally check it out. I've read it um, a bunch of times. <laughs> so yeah, check it out. And then in the acknowledgement part, at the bottom it says, to my team, from the bottom of my heart, blah, blah, blah. I want to thank our leadership. Team, Teresa, Larry, Steve, and Kim for so amply running the company. That is me. So, that's kind of cool. Home. 
Rel's tummy is mad and he wants to go home, but I'm going. Why'd you say that? You <laughs> said it, but I'm, I'm going to grocery. I'm gonna take my job over. I'm, I'm gonna overrun my job. It's funny doing that sometimes. I'm an overaccomplished man. One time, oh, wait, we can leave. Why didn't we just go to the grocery outlet in San Diego? It's literally closer. Because it sucks. You hear that? Garcia Alley. Nice. Another place to sleep. Another place to sleep. She talks so much. I love her, but she talks so much. All right, I'm going to turn this off. They're to make fun of him, of course. Hey, guys, put those back. Guys, what are you doing, River? I just beat up a drum. I just beat up Actually, it's the group of three. Oh. Taking it one of each? are still picking an ice cream. Chocolate. Ooh. Chocolate I like cream pool. with milk chocolate flavor. Can I, can I have sprinkle pool? Yeah. Well, here, Rod, here's the black thank cherry. You, thank you, thank you, Okay, so we are back now from grocery outlet. Never going in with the kids again or Raul. First of all, the kids were bouncing off the wall because they... In the supermarket. Sorry, I was jingling my ice. I apologize. I'm very sorry. It's bad for a soundscape. Let's get room tone. Everybody, get room tone. Room tone. Okay. So, anyways, um, the kids were bouncing off the wall from school, I guess, or something. So they were crazy stimming everywhere. And then everybody kept throwing stuff in the cart. So I had a Fred Meyer click list set up. And what I wanted to do is I wanted to go to Grocery Outlet, see if I could find anything that was on our list, take it off so that, you know. So my click list was $250. It is now at $180. So I took $70 off of my click list by going to Grocery Outlet. My Grocery Outlet bill was $170. So I somehow end up spending an extra hundred dollars. And it's because all these kids are throwing stuff in. So Yep, the kids did. Um no, you threw so, chocolate. We all got cookies. Um yeah, no, Just cookies. And cheese. We both like cheese. Also got ice cream. Ice cream for everybody, which is now melting in the car, so I have to hurry, but yeah, so that happened. All right, I'll see you in a bit. Oh, I like the mummy with his eyes. Ah, this is my favorite. Because look, I put cute. a little stall on there. Wait, yeah, I don't want that one, the yellow one. Cute. Look, that's his other half of his head. It's soft. <laughs> I like soft stuff that I do that. Okay, so now it's time to cook dinner. I showed you the ingredients. <laughs> Costco garlic forever. I'll never run out. So I've got in my frying pan a little bit of ginger and garlic. And I'm going to cook that up. And then I'm going to cook up the turkey. And do a little salt and pepper too. And then I add in all the veggies, kind of stir fry them, and you add your sauce. Pretty easy stuff. Let's see how it turns out. Okay. River is. They were outside with the water hose and stuff, kind of hosing up the back porch, so everybody was doing that. 
I'm just picking up some turkey meat. Nothing exciting there. Okay, so here is the finished product. So I'm going to have a bowl of that and my second. Can't do things with one hand. You put green on it. I'm going to make it look pretty white. If you do it now, I'm going to. This will be my thumbnail. Protein, protein, protein. Protein for the thumbnail. Okay, so this is going to be my last. It's going to be my last little bit of the day, and I'm going to take my blood sugar one more time. And if it is good, then I get some ice cream. Take a food away. So let's see what we got here. It's really loud in the background. Oh, that finger hurts. Shh, guys. Sorry, sorry, my sorry. Let's see what we got. 103. I'm gonna have an ice cream. Is that good? Okay, so Zachary already opened his and we got the same kind. It's a light glazed donut. And it is 80 calories per serving. It's got a decent amount of carbs in it. I mean, not decent, but it's ice cream. I don't know if you can see that. It's eight net carbs. But there is something sad about it. Zachary just showed me. Why is it not full? I don't know. It looks cool though. It has sprinkles in it. Okay, so guys, thank you for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what your favorite ice cream flavor is. And brand. So, do you like a vegan kind? Do you like a sugar free? Do you like a regular? Whatever. Let us know in the comments below, and I will see you soon. Bye.